Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will discuss about the servlet config interface. The object of servlet config interface is created by the web container for e-servlet. The object of, uh, the object of uh, servlet config is used to get the information from the web.xml file. The main advantage of using servlet config is that you don't need to make any changes into the servlet. You make changes in the web.xml file. Let's see with the practical. Simply I click on the file, then new, then dynamic web project and give the name of your project servlet config config demo then click on the next, 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 check the generate web.xml deployment descriptor and then finish. Your project will be displayed in the project explorer. Explore the servlet config demo, explore the java resource, right click on the src folder and click on the new and take a servlet give the name of your servlet simply i give the name of my servlet is first servlet we are using the super class as a http servlet and then click on the next simply your uh, servlet name is first servlet and url is first servlet if you want to change url then you click on the first servlet click on the edit and uh, write the url servlet1 servlet1 and then click on ok and then finish next here you simply see the different methods i simply check the do post and do get method and then click on the finish my servlet is created here my, uh, the name of the ser my servlet is first servlet it is extend from the http servlet and scroll down this and then simply you see the do get method and do get post method here in this servlet method do get method we we, we get the information from the web.xml file and then simply click on the web content then web inf and click on the web.xml here you simply uh, see various wel welcome files. I simply delete the other files except one welcome file index.html and uh, then I will take a servlet tag and then servlet name. Simply you give the your servlet name anything. I give the first servlet and then i using the another tag servlet class this is the name of your servlet class name of the my servlet class is first servlet first servlet okay and then press enter and here is i simply another tag in each param this is called the initialization parameter and in the init param simply we using the param name i giving the param name driver and uh, param value is com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver basically the driver is this is the driver value com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver this driver is used for database connectivity uh, in, with MySQL and Java. Init param is initialization parameter and uh, param name is driver. And I want to get the driver value into my first servlet. Simply I click the first servlet and come into the do get method. And uh, simply I take a class print writer out equal response dot get writer 
we create a print writer object out here uh, is error occurred simply due to package I simply impor import the print writer java.io package click then you simply see import dot java dot print writer package imported here and here simply I take the servlet config servlet config interface and config object and get servlet method servlet config method the get servlet config method is the method of servlet interface and uh, get servlet interface return the servlet config object and the uh, object in this video in this video simply servlet config object is config then press enter and simply I declare a variable string driver equal config config dot get init param and uh, simply I type the driver and semicolon the servlet config interface has a method get init parameter this will take the parameter name and give and return the value of the parameter simply my parameter uh, init parameter name is driver and uh, the value is the value is com.mysql.jdbc.driver okay. and this return the value in, store in the driver string variable and uh, out dot print and double quote driver driver then plus driver simply we are using the out object with the print method that print the value of driver variable <coughs> simply and then come into the web content right click and take a new and then index dot html page index.html page and then click on next html file is created in the body part simply I take a anchor tag href and then dot slash servlet 1 and then click simply we are using the anchor tag and giving the address of the my servlet url of the my servlet the url of my servlet is servlet1 and then come into the first servlet ok and then simply save all these things and then right click on the servlet config run as run on the server ok next finish okay simply index.html page will be displayed on the browser when you click on this anchor tag it's redirect to servlet first servlet and then the value of my init param is driver uh, com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver ok simply come into the web.xml file I define all these things for the first servlet if you want to create another servlet then you use the next servlet tag here like this and then same things you repeat give the servlet name uh, init param parameter name param value etc ok the main advantage of using servlet config is that 
you don't need to make any changes or updation in the servlet file. You simply make the changes into the web.xml file. Thank you. Please sub subscribe my video and comments to my video. Thank you.